Hey everybody, welcome back to DungeonGuru.net. This is Nether Void coming at you with another strategy series. This week I'm doing the M6, and uh, this is this was a request by I didn't write the name down. This is before I started writing name downs for who was requesting what. But I know it's been requested by at least two guys recently. If you're one of those guys, please comment. Uh, anyway, I bought this tank specifically so I could so I could do a video on it because I'd already gone through this tank. Um, obviously, if I've had the T29, I've been through this tank. So. I had to. I just rebought the tank and 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 got the crew. And I'm not gonna do that for every request because I just don't have that kind of money. I need to do. I need to start doing my tier eights, and they're very expensive. So, but you know, I did the M6. It does need to get done. It's it is a tough tank to play. So a strategy series on it would be great. So before I get into it, into this uh, this tank though, I'd like to do a shout out to Des Games. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, he's one of my new partners. Um, he his channel is a lot like mine. He does World of Tanks and Skyrim, and but he also does Battlefield 3. Battlefield 3 is an amazing new first-person shooter that came out. It's got amazing maps and stuff, and I would be playing that game if we weren't already covering so many games. So please go check his channel out. He does really good videos. Uh, really good guy. So let's move it on. Uh, also, big big thing: the over-target markers uh, does work with with Patch 7. Um, thanks to Ghost Ascension for giving me the link, the first link on it, and also Rune R96 for bringing it to our attention in a comment on the video that I put up as a as a uh, guide on how to install the Over Target Markers mod. Uh, and I'll put the link up. You're probably seeing it right now uh, as an annotation. So click that if you don't have Over Target Markers yet, uh, and you'll know what I'm talking about when you see a couple of my gameplay videos because I do have Over Target Markers in the gameplay, and um, it's it's really awesome. It I feel. I just felt almost naked without that mod in. You get really used to the um, the combat text scrolling up to see how much damage you did. Um, when other guys hit them, you can see the damage go up, and it really helps you to to not have to stare at one spot on the on the screen all the time. You have great battle, um, a lot of great information coming in on peripherals in in a battle when you have that thing in there. So uh, I just wanted to talk about that real quick too. So now that those those pieces are out of the way, uh, oh, another thing I'd like to talk about real fast is going to be a little long. Man, this thing's going to be long. Uh, I am going to start throwing in the mix uh, some map, uh, some strategies on maps, and um, the reason is I've had a lot of requests for it, and I've gotten pretty used to all the maps. I'm, I'm I feel like I'm really good at, at driving on every tank on every map, except for I have a, a little bit of a problem with light tanks since I don't drive them that often, so I'll probably be doing that a little bit before I start these map tutorials. The maps will also cover, it, it doesn't matter what kind of tank you're driving, kind of how to play that map and what the strategies are for that map. Um, and that's going to be uh, interspersed between the strategy series, uh, also that'll help me, give me some time to grind up some more tier 8s because I'm, I'm uh, running low on high tier tanks to cover for strategy series. So now let's get on to this tank. Um, starting out with the stats and overall uh, play style of this tank, 870 hit points. That's uh, pretty good. You can take a couple of big hits from big guns, uh, and that's what's going to help you stay alive, really, because this thing has almost no armor, as you're about to see. 90, 960 horsepower engine, pushing around 58 tons. Actually, this tank is huge, but it actually moves around pretty good. Uh, the Traverse is actually is, is decent. It's not too great, but it does turn pretty well. You can still get circled fairly easily, especially at Tier 6 and, and below. So you really want to be careful about that, and we'll talk about that with style of play. But uh, this 960 horsepower engine has some get up and go. 35 um, sp speed limit kilometers per hour. Uh, I don't really hit that too often, but I do. This tank does get up and go, and you can really move around between house to house. And especially if you're trying to help out with a, med a push, you're trying to help some mediums. You can kind of keep up with them. Okay, let's get. Uh, since I already started coming to traverse, the the turret speed is actually really good, coupled with the 25. Uh, traverse speed on the tank, and if it's a tier six or so a medium, you can you might be able to keep up. He's probably going to get around you a little bit. Just try to back yourself into a building so he can't get around you. Um, so that, but the turning speed on the turret especially is very good. Uh, the the whole armor is actually not that bad. 102 on the hull and 102 on the turret. Not really great, but uh, if you can get your front the front of your armor aimed and with a slight angle at people, you can bounce a lot of shots. I I've got a couple steel walls in this tank. Obviously, it's hard to get with this many hit points, but I do have it. But look at this side and back armor, especially for the hull. And look how big the hull is. Okay, you need to drill this into your head. This is basically the Brown Party Bus. You remember you've seen the T28 video, the Green Party Bus? This is the Brown Party Bus. It's huge and it has no armor. Um, it's paper mache tank. So do not get circled. Hide behind cover. Uh, the turret armor is not too bad, but still 80 armor is not that great. Plus, it's so tiny, nobody's really going to be. 
I mean, look how tiny that turret is. It looks like one of those bobbleheads. Um, or I'm sorry, the other way around. It looks like one of those huge guys with a tiny head. Okay, so um, we'll get into shell damage when we talk about guns. Rate of fire. The rate of fire is really awesome for this uh, this 90 mil gun. Uh, so the 400 view range, not that great. You can throw on a Binox if you have an extra pair uh, because this is a tier 6. I don't put any permanent mods on it. I'm sorry, over here. So you can throw a pair of Binox on it. That'll get you up to, uh, I don't know, 480 or something like that. So that's actually, that would be really good, especially since you're going to be not really right in everybody's face with this tank, hopefully. So you're going to need to maybe snipe a little bit. Okay, so general style of play. This tank plays a lot like a Tiger. Uh, maybe even a little more gun shy than a Tiger just because your side armor is so huge. Uh, you're just an easy target to hit. And you know what? People are going to be shooting at you because you're so easy to hit. You're, you're basically a pinata pin of, of XP and credits. So knowing that, you need to always be looking at where do I have cover. I need to get cover, and where do I have it? And I need to get someplace where I can put the front of my armor toward people and still shoot at them with that 90 mil gun. The 90 mil gun is going to hurt them a little bit, so you can get out there a tiny bit uh, and, and be okay. If you're at the top of the, of the list, don't rush out. Don't be crazy. You, be, you need to be cautious with this tank. It, make sure people are supporting you. If it's you and a couple guys, you can be a little aggressive if you're at the top, mainly because your gun is pretty big. So you're going to want to focus down anybody that can penetrate you first. Uh, and, then, and then you should be good to go. You do have some speed. So you'll see in one of the videos, I do flank uh, a TD. So definitely do that. Try to get some flank shots because the gun doesn't have a whole lot of penetration, but it has a pretty good amount. So And you've got some speed, so get out there, flank a couple guys, kill them off, and make sure you head for cover. Not only are your people going to be able to shoot you on the side, but artillery is going to be nailing you because you're so huge for tier 6. Okay, so those, that's the stats and overall play style. Let's get into, well, we don't do weak points for this because it's a tier 6. But basically, if you have to look at it, there's a machine gun, uh, machine gun setup. That's always a good spot to hit. Uh, pretty usually good chance to hit and the viewport that's always a good spot too so I'd probably shoot it there if I had to shoot it um, lower plate not much is exposed and there's some good angling on it so you might not be able to hit right there in the lower plate all right so let's get talking in talking about modules here I've got the 450 radio on this thing you could get the 550 but there's not much to it and it's 22,000 it's really up to you uh, if, usually if you're hiding you are hanging back a little bit you might want the radio just to make sure that the guy up there um, um, spotting for you can radio back the position of the enemy tanks. Um, so you get a big traverse bonus with the tracks and with the tonnage increase it really helps this tank out a lot. It's a little sluggish when you first start but it's not as bad as other tanks but definitely when you get those tracks it's a lot better. It's a four four degree per sec uh, increase. Definitely get those tracks. The engine, uh, it's not a huge increase. The first starting engine is actually pretty good. Um, so you got some mobility when you get it, but this just makes it all the better. Uh, you know, look at that, 140 uh, horsepower increase. Definitely that engine's pretty awesome. Um, the turret is really not an upgrade too much. The view range does get upgraded a lot, and 360 is horrible. So when you're trying to sit back and kind of not be out and out up front, 360 uh, meters is not going to get you there. So that 400 does help a lot. The traverse goes up a, a ginormous amount. I love that word ginormous. But that's an extra 6 degrees per second. So when you throw the tracks on and the turret, that's 10 extra degrees per second of traverse. So it's a little harder to... Uh, it's going to be a little harder to circle you. And as you can see right here, you do need the upgraded turret for the for the 90 mil gun, and you do want that 90 mil gun. Okay, so let's talk about guns now. You're going to hopefully start out with this M1A1 that you unlocked from the M1. And let's just look at it right here. T1 Heavy, I'm sorry, yes, the T1 Heavy. So you've unlocked that gun. You should be, you're going to be able to throw it on right away. Start using that gun right away. It's, it's, not, a great, it's not a great gun. I'm not going to lie to you right now. Uh, but you're, so <clears throat> you're definitely going to want to flank with it. You're going to leave a little more flank and not as much in people's face. When you get this 90 mil gun, 160 pin is pretty good. You can see I'll jack up a couple ISs with this thing. And the 240 damage is nothing to sneeze about. It's nothing to sneeze at. It's a pretty good amount of damage. Uh, it's like a Tiger. It's like the long 88's uh, damage right there actually now. Or maybe it's 260 on the, on the long 88 now. But the 160 pin is really not that great. Luckily, it reloads very quickly, 9 rounds per minute. It's got a great reload time. So, you know, hey, if you, don't ding, if you just ding, you get another shot really, really soon. So uh, the aiming on it, the accuracy on it's not that great. 
Uh, this is not that great at accuracy. The aiming time is okay, but the accuracy, meh. Plus, you know, my crew is pretty crappy because I had to buy a 50% crew when I got this tank again. Your crew should probably look more like 85% when you've uh, fully upgraded this thing. And definitely, again, like I've always said, get 100% before you get out of this tank. And that's, I guess I jumped ahead of myself a little bit. So now that we've talked about the modules and all that stuff, let's talk about research. All right, I'm back on Andrew Bunk's account. I wanted to talk about the overall tech tree here first. So the general uh, way to unlock this M6 is through the T1 Heavy, and I do recommend that mainly because when you learn how to play the T1 Heavy, the M6 is almost exactly like it, except with a bigger gun and, and a little bit more, um, a little bit, it doesn't die so quickly. It's got a little bit of armor. So if you play the T1, you're going to learn how to play the M6. Now, if you do decide to go down this route with the, uh, maybe you've probably gone down to, to unlock the patent, and you say, hey, now I want this, I want to go down the Heavy line. You can go through it through this e the easy two, and that's not a bad way to go about it. It's just if you really just want to go for the heavies, don't go through this e two. It's going to take you longer because look, in, anytime you go side to side like this, it's basically having to grind through two tanks to go up a tier. So you're just going to go down that t heavy line, t one heavy. So let's look at the tank. The ta the tech tree is really tiny, which makes it pretty obvious on what you're going to do. What you're going to do first is get those tracks, mainly because you're going to want the. Uh, the tonnage increase and you do get some more some traverse so if you haven't unlocked this m1a1 here it is hopefully you've already unlocked it unlock this gun unlock that turret get that 90 mil as soon as you can then go for this engine then get the radio this is really a kind of a duh tree then just go straight for the uh, t29 this doesn't look like a lot of xp and a lot of people say hey i'm just gonna skip the 90 mil and just go right for the t29 look at that i can just i don't even need the upgrades here here's the problem with that when you go into this t29 you will end up with this crappy 76 millimeter gun and you will never ever unlock anything on this tank. It will take you forever to unlock this stuff. Because now you're a T7 and you're going up against T9s, forget about it, man. So just save yourself some hassle, unlock that 90 mil when you're on the M6, and then unlock everything else and you'll see the uh, priority over here. So that's what I rec recommend for this the uh, M6. Let's get back uh, Let's get back to my account. So we're back on my account. We've talked about all the way up to research. Now we're going to go over equipment. Uh, I don't have any equipment for this, but I would probably recommend uh, if you do have stuff laying around. Like I said, the binox are great because of that um, view range is really 400 is not that good. So uh, binox there and uh, the toolbox is a great a great addition uh, because you probably will get tracked a lot. The tracks are very large. Uh, camo net's not going to get get you anything. But again, if you don't want to pay gold to take it off, you can. Probably if I didn't have any, then I'd probably just have, if you're going to do gold uh, cons uh, equipment here, i do the vents, obviously, and the rammer, and it's going to help a lot. The rammer you might not see a lot out of just because this thing already does reload very quickly. And on the faster reloading guns is when you don't uh, realize as much speed gain out of the rammers. But the vent's definitely going to help you because it's going to help with aiming and a bunch of other things. Uh, and you can, you could get this lane drive if you like to move around a lot because there is a lot of blue on this gun when you're uh, trying to shoot that gun, probably because of the accuracy. So that's the equipment. Um, consumables, I always go with just the tra uh, the repair here for the tier six, five and six tanks. That's a five five for track repair if you put it in the middle there. And uh, lots of heat rounds compared to AP on this on this thing just because the penetration at 160 is not that great when I'm going up against tier eights and nines and things of that nature. So I do have about one third HE in this thing, um, and that's a pretty good amount. I will switch to that if I'm really having a hard time and I'm, I'm trying to pen somebody in the front and I just can't do it. I'll switch to HE so I can start jacking them up, especially if I have higher tier tanks on my team because I'll let them do the damage and I'll just mess up all their modules to make it so they can't shoot back or etc. etc. So that's pretty much this tank. I've already talked about the crew a little bit. Get this crew up to 100% before you get the T29 or sell it for the T29. Go all repair um, and you should be golden. And... Uh, that's pretty much this tank. Let's get into a couple of games here. Okay, so spawned on cliff here and rather toward the top. <laughs> hey, look at that real quick. See that M3 Lee with the camo on it? That That's pretty crazy. Like, I must really like the M3 Lee. I, I've never seen it on that, that kind of tank before. Anyway, uh, so I'm near the top. So... But I still have to be careful because this thing has really bad side armor and back armor. So anybody from about halfway down their list and up... Uh, halfway up their list and, and higher can hit me really good too. I mean they're gonna hit me pretty hard. So I really need to probably support somebody. <clears throat> Since our Tiger P is gonna go that way, I'm gonna go around this way and try to support get the lighthouse area or the donut area. Probably the lighthouse just because I can hide. I have better cover there. 
And remember, with the M6, you want to basically have cover. Uh, that T29 is going to be really, really tough to take out. Let's not let any of their uh, scouts through. Looks like they got a couple scouts coming up. In fact, let's see if this guy comes up here. Yep. So this thing does reload quick. Watch how fast it's reloading here. It's pretty awesome. Might be able to take that scout out. Can't see him now. Nope. There's a scout. Scout right... Wow. T-50's right here. Okay. Now this is... One of the biggest problems with these scouts is once they scout you, artillery's gonna be nailing you. So... Really need to get rid of these guys. But they move around so freaking fast. So, he's almost dead. That's good for us. Can't sit in one spot too long. Big target. M6 is a huge target. So you want to make sure you get out of you uh, get behind some cover as soon as you can. I've sat out in the open quite a bit. Probably too long here. There's that other scout, looks like. Now we can't see him. Oh, there he is. Okay. He's tracked. Wow, I missed. Alright, let's get behind some cover. SC-100. Um, you do have to be careful for these SC-100s. Their guns are really good. But he is really exposed. So I'm just going to flank him. If I can flank him, it's over for this guy. So here we go. And there it is. Tracked him and got him. So he's dead now. Sweet, right in the butt. Alright, so he's out of the game. And this lane is open now. I'm pretty much the front runner on this lane. Looks like we're gonna win this. Uh, we have a good chance of winning this game. Very good chance now. So, this is pretty much how you do this tank. Uh, I did wait a little bit to move out, and I think that's kind of a good idea in this tank because you don't want to get. This is one of those tanks where if you make a mistake, you're probably gonna die. So, you, you need to make sure you kind of let the little guys go ahead of you. Uh, don't don't leave them out there on their own. You need to support them, but they need to light a couple people up, and then you know what you're dealing with. So I think I'm going to get this other... What is this thing? SU-85. He's almost dead anyway. Their T-29 is still unaccounted for, as far as I know. This guy's dead. Uh, and that's not a good thing. Here, let's let's take a few shots on this Panther. Those that's really gonna jack me up if he sees me. That gun's pretty ridiculous. So, I'm gonna wait a little bit. Their T29 is really dangerous at this point. I don't know if he has the upgraded gun or not. But I'm well. I guess I can. Oh, there he is. Okay, that's a KV. Let's get this guy out of the game here. Still got two arty, but they're only priests. They're, they're M37s. So this KV, see? Oh, he's on fire. Okay. Let's just get him out of here. Okay, he's dead. There's the T T29, and he's probably going to be getting surrounded now. As you can see, I don't have the over-target markers installed because I recorded this game before I learned of the new link. But I'm gonna get it probably right after this game. There, now they're already lit. We're, this is over. I mean, this is like a... If we lost this, it would be because everybody got disconnected. Here we go. Let's just shoot, get this guy. There we go, he's gone, he's gone. A little bit of video lag. I don't really know why that is. So, 800 and some point game. That's really good for an M6. Again, the main points there are uh, don't rush out. It's a lot like the T28 video where I, I actually rushed out and got killed. Um, don't make any mistakes. Keep the front of your armor toward your enemy at all times in this thing. Uh, try to flank. And uh, that's really it. Is uh, Try to hit the guys in the weak spots. So, that's a good game. So, here we are on... Comorin, one of my least favorite maps in, the, maps in the game, probably the least favorite map in the game, and proof that o, OTM is working, over-target markers, uh, I just, all they did was overwrite the battle dot, I think it's SWF file, so all you need to do 
is uh, download download that um, not zip. It's another compressed file. Download the compressed file from the site. There's a new link up in in that um, in my tutorial video, and I'll put a link to that in this uh, strategy series. And just download it again and overwrite that um, battle.swf file again, and you should be good to go. All your OTM data file should still be there. Mine was the XML file. I didn't even have to do any alterations. I still have all my settings. So that's pretty sweet. So on this map, I like to do when I'm in a heavy like this, and I'm relatively high on the on the uh, list, I like to go over here on the attacking side, post up on a house, and just kind of wait to see what happens. Now, on this side of the map, you really can't get very close to the flag. There, it's really just all open space. Um, if you do do, uh, if you do do, <laughs> har har, if you do push to the flag, everybody needs to go and sit in that circle, because all around here, you can you can get artied anywhere in here there's no cover even by these houses I can get already one shot will clear the house and then they can start pounding me also you can get shot from this island uh, if you, you can sit behind this little ridge and not get shot on the island but you're still gonna get already to death uh, luckily there's only one artillery on this map anyway but uh, that's pretty much the key also on this other side too if you're gonna push one if you're gonna go for the cap or you're gonna move out in the open everybody might as well just sit in the cap because there's really not much cover so as I've said in general strategy on how to drive this tank, I'm gonna play pop out game here, and I know I do that with lots of heavies, and that's that's generally the playstyle for almost all heavies, but especially this tank. Ooh, the nice shot on the IS weak armor, critical hit but no damage, but I still get uh, credits and XP for that the damage I did did against the module. Uh, he did take damage, it just the damage is in the module. Who is that? See, there's another M6. As another, as an M6, I would not be over there. I can't get a shot on that guy. Ah, here we go. Another shot on this IS. This is not. That's not a good position. That's that's one reason. Another reason is you're going to get Artie, Artie to death. Our Artie should be nailing these guys. And getting us free shots. Now there goes our scout though. Our IS went out there. <laughs> so that's not how to play an IS. That is. The not way. The way you should not play an IS. Now, I need to stay behind this bush here or I'm going to be seen. I mean, this thing's a this thing's a bus anyway. So, I'm probably going to get seen. I'm, I'm going to be seen no matter what. This does help a little bit, though. Uh, remember, there are six points on your tank that can uh, basically make, have the uh, enemy see you. And I'm hiding all of them. They're left, right, center, and then top and bottom. And also the end of your gun, I think, is one of them. So we got kind of a guy that Ram 2 trying to scout a little bit. He's not seeing anybody currently, but he's doing a good job. Now usually this map is very boring, as you can see here. It's pretty dull. I might fast forward to um, between these times when there are no uh, there's no action going on. SU-85, not a good. Sp well, it's okay because he's behind a bush. But if somebody comes up, creeps up on the side, like sometimes they like to sit and see where my cursor is in that bush over there. There, another. That guy needs to pay for his stupidity here. That's probably still... That's considered side armor on the turret right there. Bounce, though. So, the 90 mil gun is not that great. Especially your tier... I mean, tier 7 and stuff. But you can, you can still hit people. Just have to get good shots, usually on the flank. Let's take this guy out. He's definitely out in the open. This whole lower plate's out. The one saving grace is it does reload very quickly. Seems like that should be a side turret shot. Maybe not though. I'll try to get him in that lower plate. 426 meters is is kind of far away to be shooting with this gun. It's a little bit more up up close and personal. And now we are actually taking a lot of hits. So, but we got see this. We broke through over here. Oh, that guy's dead. He needs to be really careful. What, what's this guy doing? Let's see what we got over here. That's a KV. Um, I don't see that guy. Okay, so that KV's dead. I'm more worried about the two ISs that are that are over here now, crossed over the bridge already. So anyway, what I was saying was, if you can see my cursor, scouts like to hide in this little bush. Even if you've seen the scouting video, that's oh, here we go. Kill that guy. 
they're only already so if you've seen it and there's a light tank scouting video out and they say to hide right here and that is a good spot and people will come up even TDs and hide right there and they'll be able to see this guy that's especially since he's moving if you're a TD don't be moving around too much get in one spot and stay there because uh, then the, the bonus from the bush is no longer no no longer applies or and if you've got a camel net on it it's not gonna help you because now with the new patch 7, you'll be able to see when your camel your camel net will turn green when you... Oh, here we go. Here's the scout. So, I need to start backing up. Those ISs are going to take me out. But I need to kill this guy, so here we go. I'm going to see if I can get a kill shot on him. There we go. Okay, he's out of there. Got to back up. Luckily, my front armor is facing them, and now it's angled. But if they have the 122s, I'm going to get hit no matter what. Even if they have a 100 uh, mil idiot gun, I'll be, I'll be getting wasted. See if I can help this guy out. I can. There we go. There we go. Those uh, T25 ATs are really, really bad. Do not want to be facing one. I'm trying to make a move to the center. And they're probably going to be able to do it since we don't have anybody there anymore. I think we're going to lose this. I'll be honest. I think we're going to lose this. Yep, there's, there he is right there. We've got nobody spotting there. What do we got up here? KV-3. They still got their two ISs. Apparently tell me somebody's talking smack. I wasn't reading the uh, chat there. But this... Oh, wow. Okay, we're making a push, apparently. Which I don't think is a good idea, but... Because they outgun us. By a lot. Let's see if I can take this KV out. See? Look at that. That's 76 mil armor. I think she'd be dead right now. KVs have an insane armor. I don't know if I'm missing. My, my crew's only at 67%, so probably probably missing them. Okay, so I'm gonna go cap. I'm just not doing what I said it, we should do. Everybody's making a push for cap. I'm not gonna stop. I'm just gonna try to push on cap. We're probably gonna die, but hey, let's try it. We've got more tanks than they do. So when you push on cap, you can hide behind this uh, little bit of scaffolding here. It'll absorb one round. Which is really, it's unrealistic, but sweet. <laughs> if you're on the attacking team, anyway. So let's do this. There we go. See, it resorbed one round. Now we should be able to kill him. Their Artie's up. Probably should kill their Artie. Okay, here we go. Let's kill the Artie. There's the Artie. I can probably hit him. So we're probably going to win this, which is pretty awesome. There's the other IS. I can take a couple hits. That's fine. Let's see, hit him. You can get a guy on the gun like that. So let's take him out. Okay, he's dead. So we won. We won this. And don't expose your front armor. Look at that. Okay, 1144 point game. That's awesome for the M6. Uh, I, I don't ever expect medals in the M6. I do have a, a top gun in it, but that's awesome game. So that's pretty much how you play this tank. You see, I was very, very cautious. Even though they were talking smack about me, uh, that, that's fine. Just let them. If somebody talks smack, just let them. You know, if you know how to drive your tank, doesn't matter what they say. We all rushed for cap. I did support that. I supported it a little late, but I did absorb some hits, and everybody should get in this circle. Uh, our Artie didn't, but that was probably fine because we had four guys. That's fine. The Artie really, we need him for damage. So uh, that's going to do it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And leave a bunch of comments and tell me what you think. See you guys.